Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back for another video. In today's video, we are trying on some new products that came into my collection recently, uh, particularly Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, as well as getting a little peek at the Vintage Rose Palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. So doing a little, you know, subtle, somewhat subtle, you know, matte look with that palette today. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then definitely stay tuned. Hey you guys, so we have another, you know, makeup try on. And I did want to give you an update on my Kevin Aquan foundation. I did order it in a different shade. Uh, so I picked up FB15, I have to return FB14. FB15 is a neutral undertone, but it works better for my skin tone. So when I put it on, it does not look weird okay if you don't know what I'm talking about definitely check out the video here see how it looks upon application and you know how I make basically you know get it to work out in the end okay I've got three foundations that I have an option of wearing today but I'm going to be wearing this little trial size of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation in the shade 13 neutral I've had the option of you know getting um, getting this little trial size included with my order from Sephora if I spent $25. And so I was, since I was getting that Kevin Aquan, you know, foundation, I added this in 13 neutral and I have worn it, I wore it yesterday and it is a really good shade match for me. Even though it says neutral, I feel like it has some yellow in it. So I already have my magic cream on and I have some pore priming uh, things on my MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refine Zone and this um, Master Blur Stick from Maybelline. I haven't used this in quite a while, so I picked it up yesterday, used it then, I'm using it again today, so here we are. And I got a new brush from Sephora because I was getting another foundation. I got went ahead and got, you know, this brush as well. So this is called the Pro Diffuser 64. You guys see how bright this is, but the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, it takes a minute to dry down to get your final uh, shade. So they say, you know, wait five minutes and you will see the actual final shade that you're gonna have. So, yeah. I did have a little creasing yesterday when I used it, you know, in my smile lines, but I'm going to work today, so. I don't know if you guys have noticed in your makeup, you know, habit or your makeup when you're wearing foundation, like the more you smile, <laughs> the more the makeup tends to fall into the fine lines or your smile lines. So I think this looks nice right here um, as far as like the finish and things like that. We'll see how it settle down, settles down into my skin. Um, when I did my Kevin Aquan video, someone said that they like saw like line of demarcation and everything. Mm hmm. I don't blend makeup down my neck. I already have enough issues with it like transferring to my clothes like if my face brushes up against my shirt and stuff. So I don't do like that whole neck thing. But you know, hey, it is what it is. I don't think I see any large line of, you know, any line of demarcation though. All right, you guys, so here is, I didn't set anything. I just wanted to give you guys a look at the concealer blended out, which is my Benefit Concealer um, in the shade number 10. And then I've got some of my Huda Tantor powder, not powder, Tantor cream, you know, contour on. But that's about it. And so here's what the face is looking like. Um, you know, it doesn't look really matte. Uh, but once everything else is applied, it looks pretty matte. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do my setting of my under eye. I'll fast forward through this. This blush is so pretty. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a super basic look today um, with my vintage rose palette that I picked up from Give Me Glow. Um, this is the first time using it, so, um, but this is not a review because um, I really don't have time to do anything elaborate. So I'm just gonna take this shade called Rust Rose right here. Absolutely beautiful shade um, with a fluffier brush. And I'm actually just gonna start it on the lid and you guys have been seeing me do this type of look quite often with different uh, palettes. So this is nothing new. Just a similar shade, but a different palette. That shade went down pretty easily. So I got this shade all over there, which I don't think I meant to do. <laughs> but you know it's okay it is what it is I guess it just adds a little bit of dimension there this is a pretty tone and it's not too much you know all right the mirror on this is really nice it's not like a uh, full size like um, you know it doesn't encompass the entire area of the palette but it's a nice high quality mirror and no skipping or anything. So other than the Juicy Olive palette, this is the only other time that I'm using mattes from this company. So, you know, so far so good, you know? Just taking a brush that doesn't have anything on it and just making sure that it's blended. That's nice. It's blended nicely and I like it. I'm gonna try some of this Aged Rose Stem. It's a green shade the green shade in the palette to the green matte and put this in the outer corner see how this looks see if it retains its color or if it goes muddy or you know that type of thing and the reason I'm doing this is just because I was curious to see how these shades would come together because I wouldn't typically think that this would work out but they are in the same palette so maybe it would work out I think that's kinda cute this looks like an AKA look <laughs> I am not in any sororities <laughs> But that's just what it's turning out to be, which is hilarious. It's interesting. It is an interesting look. It's just an interesting look. I'll say that. So I think I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want to add any more. But I do think that the green retained its color. It still looks green. It doesn't look like a brown or anything like that. It looks green. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to add just a bit of the dark burgundy shade to kind of add just a tiny bit of depth there at this outer corner so that it does look a little bit more brown and looks a little bit more you know I don't know so that it looks a little bit more normal because I feel like um, it just looked a little weird just to have that green and the pink as far as my look today going to ground it a little bit more so I still have some of the green up the top but now it's just a little bit more brown <laughs> all right I'm gonna get copper rose this is like the rose gold uh, metallic shade on a Delium tools 773 put that in the brow bone area Okay, that's pretty. And I'm gonna take that Rust Rose shade and put it on the lower lash line. Pigmentation on these shades is really nice. 
at now I'm going to do my liner and lashes and we'll be back well, this is the eye look and I think it's pretty cute you know pretty you know obviously matte with a little pop of shimmer on the brow bone I think that's super cute so for my highlight I picked up like in my video for the Kevin Aquan uh, palette or uh, with the Kevin Aquan foundation I said I don't need no more for, um, highlighters and I didn't buy any that was inaccurate. I saw uh, my friend Yori on here from Personal Beauty Lab. Definitely check out her channel. She picked up like a melt highlighter, so I wanted to pick up a melt highlighter. <laughs> So silly, but I picked up the shade Genesis. I've had, actually, and I've had my eye on this uh, highlighter, but when they had um, mentioned that it was coming out, and I was curious to buy it a while ago, but it wasn't out yet, and then I had forgotten about it. And also, it's like the same price as a foundation, so I was like, girl, please, I am not getting that. But then, I don't know. I was reminded of it by Yori, so um, yeah. I hope I be saying her name right. I be trying, y'all. Because it sounds... Because when she first... When I first discovered her channel, I thought she was saying Jody. So it sounds like Jody to me, but it's like... Jody? Yodi? Yodi? Um, so, yeah. But anyways, check out her channel. Very nice woman. She does a variety of different types of makeup, you know, videos. And try on. And she has a medium skin tone. So then I'm gonna take, um, I think that looks pretty beautiful. I didn't even comment on it. So it's like a pink, um, with a golden shift to it on me. Of course, a highlight, but if you have a medium or light skin, use it as a blush topper. But this is really pretty. I've been using it quite a bit. It's really nice. I like it a lot. And it goes on so smoothly not sparkly that's just my that's my aesthetic as far as highlighters go i don't want nothing sparkly i think that's all the new stuff that i had to show you guys i'm just taking a brush from refer what is this this is the number five brush and just blending over all those areas to make sure that everything is you know nice and seamless and then I'm going to take this Hikama from um, Bite Beauty. I love these liquefied amuse-bouche lipsticks. And they're still half off on Sephora. They're still half off on Sephora. I think they last a decent amount of time as well. And they just have some nice, you know, pigmentation, beautiful colors available. So I think this is like $12 on Sephora right now. So if you are interested, then definitely take a look. I, um, yeah, I would recommend them. I would recommend them. I haven't gotten any other shades just because I haven't, nothing really called out to me. Yeah, I think it looks nice with this eye look. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the finish and the color. I don't think I see any lines of demarcation. I guess I don't need to have that person's comment like stuck in my brain, but I never want to walk around like looking like I have on a mask because nobody wants that okay so anyways all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on the makeup we used today and how this video turned or how this makeup turned out and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it and if you want to see more content from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button all right thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you soon see ya